proper knee on belly. When you're doing a proper knee on belly, you've got to be real careful to make sure that you don't give up any space or any kind of uh, loose spots where the, your partner's going to be able to escape. Because if you, if you pop up too fast and you don't have anything blocking his knees, he might turn in, they might bump you over, they might hit your elbow. So you got to be real careful what you do with your arms and your feet. And you also got to watch your posture. Because if you don't get that good posture, you're not going to get your points. Now, when JT's on his back, I want to control the side mount. When I control, remember, I'm going to have one hand under his head, maybe grabbing the back of his gi. And I'm going to have one hand for right now. We're going to put it right on top. We're going to grab the belt just like this. And I'm going to pinch my elbow down. Just like this. Now, but when I pop up the knee on belly, what I want to do is I want to slide my right knee up along the diagonal like his, uh, around his chest, from the ribs going up to the chest, like right, right around the sternum. Now, I don't want to be all the way on the chest, and I don't want to be all the way on the belly. I want to kind of get a good mixture of both. That way I can kind of just crush the diaphragm, make it real hard for him to breathe. When I grab the belt and I pinch my elbow down, the whole idea is I want to block his legs from coming in. If I don't block here and I just try to put my knee up, he's going to keep lifting his legs. He's just going to bring his knee right in the way and it's just going to stop me every time. What I want to do is pinch this down and make like a wedge. And what I'm going to do is bring in between my ribs and my elbow is where my knee goes. That way his knee can't stop it. So I come under the head, I get the belt grip, or I get the lapel grip, my belt grip or pant leg grip or anything right here around the hip with my elbow pinched down. Now, I'm going to slide my knee up, and when I'm ready to pop up, I'm just going to rotate, turn, and now notice how my foot is off the ground. It's pinched alongside his hip, and it's all the way across his chest. My other foot is out for base. The hand and the belt grip now can pull up tight to make sure that I've just I've nullified all his escapes, his motions. He doesn't, it's too much pressure. He doesn't want to start moving right here because it just hurts too much. Now, what you got to be real careful of is don't leave your elbow out like this. He's going to grab it and try to roll you. So you want to make sure you have good base, good posture, get your points, and then work on to your next position, whether you're going for a submission or going to another uh, maybe mount or some other uh, spot from another angle. Belt grip, under the head lapel, slide the knee up, rotate right there, get that good knee on belly with the posture. Here, watch again from this angle. Now you don't always have to slide your knee either. You can just pop right up. But you've got to make sure that that knee comes in first. So I'm here, pinch down, pop right up. See how my leg is all perpendicular? It's real important that you don't have it too close to his head and you don't have it too close to his legs because then your base is going to be off. You want it right there in the middle. So it's like a tripod from his foot to his head to my foot. is a nice triangle.